Hello everyone. So in this session, we will talk about indexes. So what is an index? So Hive is a HQL, that is Hive Query Language. So it's a data analysis tool, and we understood, you know, uh, here we can write uh, smart queries like you know any any in any RDBMS. So we talk about Oracle SQL. We used to write the smart queries and we can get the expected result. So in the same way, we can write queries in the Hive and we can get the result. We can analyze the data set, which is, which is there in the Hive table in the rows and column format. So in the same, uh, so in the RDBMS, we have indexes, right? So we talk about SQL Server, we have cluster index, non-cluster index, filter index, and similarly, we have few indexes in Oracle or any other database also like DB2, Sybase. So what is index? Index is basically to speed up our select statement. So it's a simple example. We already we already must have heard about if we have a whole book and someone asks us to find this topic. So instead of scanning the whole book from first page, we can directly go to the index page, which is there in the you know starting two three pages of the book, and we can get the page number for this topic, right? And we can directly jump on that on on that page, and we can read it easily. So here we don't need to scan whole book from first page till last. Suppose if we don't, if if we we would not have indexes, then how we would have jump on that topic? So in that case, we would have scanned whole book from first page till that topic. So it was very difficult, and it was it would be too much time consuming, right? So indexes help us to speed up the select statement. So in the same way, when we write any query, and we just you know. Uh, write a where clause like id equals to 2 or id equals to 2000 so in that case it will not scan whole table from id 1 till id 2000 it will directly jump on that particular record and get the data so this concept the theory which we discussed it was in rdbms so where uh, where index store the index cluster key and the corresponding data so index key is basically point to the corresponding data so here in the hive index is basically store the block id because hive is built on top of hadoop and hadoop provides two things one is distributed storage and another thing is parallel processing so if we have any file like 1000 GB and which is divided across all the, you know, across the cluster. So suppose we have five data, data node and the file is divided across the cluster. So there will be a, at least five data block, right? So now we have, we have written some query which, you know, the data which belongs to that query is basically exist in the data block data block 3 which is there on the data node 3 so in that case hive engine will not scan node 1 data node first then node 2 data node first and then node 3 it will directly jump on to the node 3 and will scan that particular data node so and and it will get the result so how how it is happening internally because indexes in hive stores the block id and the corresponding data okay so here the same thing we can see index and index acts as a reference to the records instead of searching all the records we can refer to the index to search for a particular record so instead of scanning the whole table we can directly go to that particular record so it saves a lot of time so indexes maintain the reference of the records so that it is easy to search for a record within minimum overhead okay 
and then index is speed of the searching of data. Why to use indexing in Hive? So obviously, speed of the searching. So Hive is data warehousing tool present on top of Hadoop, which provides SQL kind of interface to perform queries on a large data sets. Okay. So size of file is, is you know unnaturally large and can span up to the terabytes and petabytes because it's a big data and we are working on big data. So now if we want to perform any operation on this huge amount of data, it will take a large amount of time. So in Hive table, there are, there are many number of rows and columns. Okay. So instead of scanning whole data, we can directly point to that data block. So the major, major advantage of using indexing is whenever we perform a query on, the, on a table that has an index, there is no need for the query to scan all the rows in a table. Further, it checks the index first and then goes to the particular column and perform the operation. Okay. So this is the benefit of indexing. So we should always go with that. So when to use indexing? Indexing can be used under the following circumstances. If the data set is very large, so instead of scanning whole data set, we can directly point to that particular record. Or if the query execution is more amount of time than you expected. So if query is performing poor, in that case we can go with indexes. So basically it will, it will speed up the search, searching for our application. If a speedy query execution is required. Okay, so both these statements are interrelated. So when building a data model, so we are building a data model, uh, definitely we can go with indexes to improve the performance of our system. So indexes are maintained in a separate table in Hive that it won't affect the data inside the table, which contains the data. So indexes, when we create it does not affect the underlying data of the table. Okay. So another major advantage for indexing in Hive is that indexes can also be partitioned depending upon the size of the data that we have. So partitioning will see later in this course. So indexes can also be a partition. Okay. So types of indexes in Hive. So in Hive, we have two types of indexes. One is compact indexing and another one, another one is bitmap. So compact is nothing but the, the regular index. I mean, we can say a non-cluster index in any RDBMS. Okay. So on any column where we create the compact index, index it speed up the search if we are using that particular column in the query and bit, bitmap is basically to use the blob data okay if we have any blob data then we can create a bitmap index or if we have data in a arbitrary flag so flag means if we have the duplicates in the data like we have some flag called you know the gender is male is zero one is female so we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 for all the records. So in that case, we can use bitmap. So either we have blob data or the flag columns. Okay. So what is the difference between compact and bitmap indexing? So the main difference is this is the storing of the mapped value of the rows in a different blocks. Okay. So as we know, data is distributed in the hive. So we don't know on which block our record data exists. So in that case, what it does, it stores the indexed column value and its block ID. So suppose we have created the index on ID column. So it will index the, it will store the value of the column and the block ID. So if someone, someone search for the ID equals to 2000, then it will directly point to that particular block where it exists. So the same thing here we can read. When the data inside a hive table is stored by default in the SDFS, they are distributed across the nodes in a cluster. So then there needs to be a proper ident identification of the data, like the data block ID and all these things. 
so without knowing the block id we cannot speed up our select statement in the hive whereas in bitmap bitmap indexing stores the combination of index column value and the list of rows as a bitmap okay so here we can understand the what is bitmap a bitmap is a type of memory memory organization or image file format used to store digital images so i told you block it's a binary large object so with this meaning or bitmap we can redefine bitmap indexing as given below so bitmap in index stores the combination of the value and the list of rows as a digital images okay so let us create one index so we can see the practically how we can create it okay so here let me see okay so here what table we have we have this table so currently it is taking 0.127 second okay so let me create the index on age suppose okay so here in the same way we can we can first write the query in the notepad get index index name suppose test i test index okay on table so table name is tbl customer column we are giving age okay and as so here we are creating compact index so here we need to define the compact index handler which is or apache hadoop hide ql index dot compact dot compact index handler which is basically inside this package with deferred rebuild so basically it will rebuild the index while creating so let me create it index it's created now we can execute the same query okay but here we need to put put the clause where we created the index is equals to suppose 55 okay with the index it takes 6.865 second and now we can drop the index and then we, we can check it okay let me drop it first so how we can drop it drop index index name which is mm, on which table tbl customers it's deleted now we can execute the same query okay something wrong let me create the index again not age let me create the index on id okay so we can first first execute the query without index that is 
actually we are not getting much difference because we have only five records okay when we have a huge data then we can see the difference okay so here we have less less number of records so we are not getting so much difference but it makes difference when we have huge tables okay so when we are dealing with the millions of records and we create the compact index then it you know it impact and it speed up the select query so in the same way we can create the bitmap index also on the uh, arbitrary column arbitrary field where we have duplicacy or where we have blob data okay so that is how we can create the index we can drop the index and we understood what in what is index what type of index we have in the hive so we have compact index and bitmap index okay